There are a lot of wrong concepts about God. Some call Him God, some call Him Lord, some call Him Jehovah, some call Him Manlilikha, some call Him Bathala, some call Him El Shaddai, some call Him with many names. But Jesus embodies all the beautiful traits of a loving God in one title only. And that is He's our Abba, Father. We have a lot of concept with regards to what is a good father. On my personal experience, it's not a good one. I am a victim of child abuse. I experienced a lot of pains and struggles during my formative years. But God in His mercy allowed me to see the good side of life because He showed to me that I may not have an ideal father, but I discovered that I have a loving heavenly father. You did not receive a spirit that makes you a slave again to fear, but you received the spirit of sonship. And by Him, we cry. Whenever you're in pain, whenever you're in a lot of frustration, you can cry to Daddy. Abba, Father, He's inside our hearts. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so great. The heights, the depthness, because His love is greater than all your kapalpakan, so that you will not doubt His love. So as far as the east is from the west, he could have said as far as from north to south. Because there is N, North Pole, South Pole. But here he used the east and the west. It symbolizes infinity. Jesus, how much do you love me? He will say like this, I love you this much and this much. I died for you from east to west, no end, limitless infinity if you want to know the heart of the father know what jesus is saying because if you will read the whole bible gusto mong ipakita na may galit na dios diyan you can say it. gusto mong makita na god is into genocide you can say it. but none of these are true they are the misconception of people and if jesus is the exact representation of god as mentioned in hebrews chapter 1 verse 3 because he's the source of truth and he is the truth himself and through Jesus, God showed us that this God is not only our God, is not only Yahweh, Jehovah, Lord, He is our loving Heavenly Father. There is this application in Facebook that says, what's on your mind? If you ask God what's in His mind, you know what He will write? It's your name. Your name is tattooed in His palm. Can a mother forget baby at her breast and have no compassion? The child she has born, though she may forget, that is impossible for a mom to just neglect the child. Though she may forget, I will not forget you. Ang una palang nagpatato sa Biblia ay si God. Nagpatato siya at ang nakaupit doon ay ang pangalan mo. When you have this revelation of the Father's love and experience Father's love, you don't need to beg for anyone to love you. I used to think that love is like this, it's love is like this, but God in His mercy, in a very simple and yet profound manner, He described what love is that embodies all He wished to express in this one verse. He sent His one and only Son into the world that we might live through. Kung minsan binabase natin yung pagmamahal natin kay Lord sa mga karanasan natin, I'm not saying it's wrong, but you have a wrong measurement over there. What if naplatan ka dahil na-late ka pagdating mo sa office, sinermonan ka ng iyong immediate superior. Pagdating mo doon sa office, tawag sa iyong katulong mo, naputulang kayo ng kuryente. Tapos, after one hour, tumawag yung principal, nakipag-away yung anak mo. How will you call that day? It means, hindi ka mahal ng Diyos, no? You can never base the love of God based on blessings or unfortunate events that is happening in your life. The love of God was shown already at the cross. The true purveyor of God's love is not your experience. Emotions come and go. But may I never base my love on my emotion, whether I feel it or not. The love of the Father is inside my heart because He died more than 2,000 years ago. I don't know what you're experiencing today, but His love is greater than all what you are experiencing today. Sometimes I feel unloved, I feel unworthy, but whenever I am reminded of His love, not my love, then I can love more. Sa totoo lang, lahat naman tayo dito disqualified eh. But because of His love, He made us worthy. Nothing can separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. You mean, Pastor, kahit yung mga kapalpakan ko, hindi you don't know what I did. Yes, His love will find you. Remember, He came to seek and save the lost. God loves to flex 
His blessing in the midst of scarcity. There are many instances in the Bible there is so much scarcity and he flex his sufficiency. I can tell you the widow at Zarephath. I can tell you when there is no food or all is left is two fish and five loaves. Sinong naniniwala dito na sakit na ng tinatawag na recession at crisis? Masasaganay ka na Diyos. That's why we are asked to live by faith. Hindi sa ating nakikita. You belong in the kingdom of God, not the kingdom of this world. I keep on reminding myself, yes Lord, hindi ko kailangan mag-worry dito. Kasi pag nag-escalate pa yung gyera ng China at Taiwan, nakita nyo yung nangyari sa Sri Lanka ngayon? Nagkakaroon ng total chaos? In this world, he said, you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Cast all your anxiety on Him. Pero ako naniniwala, meron tayong amang kumakalinga sa atin. Hindi tayo pababayan. Lahat ng may revelation kung sino ang Diyos, hindi lang bilang Diyos, kundi kanilang ama, kailanman hindi makakaranas ng kakulangan. David says, simula bata ko hanggang matanda na ako, hindi ko pa nakita ng mga anak ng Diyos ay namalimos ng tinapay. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 3, But the Lord is what? Faithful. Yes. Even if I'm not faithful, He will remain faithful. Na kahit anong pinagdadaanan ko ngayon, titiyakin ng Diyos dahil ako'y Kanya at siya'y akin. Hangkat hindi pa tapos ang Diyos sa akin, walang sino mang konsyo, pilatong, demonyo o kasamaan ang pwedeng makasira sa akin. He will strengthen and protect you from the evil one. Tayong mga ama, iniingatan natin yung mga anak natin. Higit lalo ang pag-iingat ng ating ama sa atin. Isang pangyayari sa World War II, babae na widow, an old woman, sinalakay ng ng Nazi Germany. They keep on shelling the place. They're dropping the bombs. Yung isang verse sa Bible, sabi niya, The Lord God will never sleep nor slumber. He will protect me from my coming in and coming out. But she's a believer of Christ. Lord, pagod na ako. Ilang araw na tong gyera, yung putuban. Matutulog ako, Lord. Surprisingly, pagdating ng umaga, nakatulog siya. Nung makita niya, daming damage na bahay. Ang kanya lang ang hindi na damage. Bakit? Naniwala siya na ang Diyos ang nag-iingat sa kanya. Alam niyo bang kahit siraan ka ng sino, hindi sila magtatagumpay? Today, this is your Heavenly Father. In all the challenges that we are facing today, He is there to bless us. He loves us. He shows compassion. And most of all, He protects us.